Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. So you will go there, I will go and place all of these down, and then we will run back up through and we will get the next lot. Actually no, I won't do the next lot. I'll run down through now and I will place another 10 smelters. I don't know if 10 is too many. 10, 10 might be overkill. We may be overdoing this a little bit. I mean, well, we can always go and upgrade things later, can't we? Right, there is nothing to stop us from being able to upgrade absolutely everything later on. There's nothing at all. Let's go over here. And I want to go this way and I want a smelter and... Make sure that's the right way round. There. Right, that's two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. That one's not going to let me put that one in. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you as well. You're my lift up to the top. Oh, well, you're gone now. Right, that was too fast. Uh, that was seven onto there. Smelter. Eight. And nine. And then finally ten. Right, so we've now got 20 new smelters all lined up. Then I want to come back down here and I want to put the conveyor splitters into place. So we go over to here. Uh, that one is positioned correctly. There we go. Now they should all line up absolutely spot on perfect just like that. They should, in theory, all line up perfectly. See, that's too far up. I drop that one in there. That'll work. Abs there we go. Right, this is, this is lining up spot on. We could not ask for this to be better. Look at that. Everything exactly in its place. An, a place for absolutely everything. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. It's like poetry in motion. It's gorgeous to behold. And we'll, we'll do these in two separate runs. So we'll run one down here like that. And you come out like that. Same this way. Over there like that. And then once I've gone down through... Oops. Once I've gone down through this way and done everything, we will then go up through the other way and we'll put in all the belts. Then we've got to go to the top side of all of them. And we've got to put in all of the rest of the um, the mergers on the second line. So we drop that into there. Like that, keep going. You go that way. Out you go there. Put that one in. And steady. There. Right. That will go out that way. I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with the rest of it for a minute, but it should be fairly straightforward. That one needs to go up from there and then into the side here, which should be easy enough. So we'll move the rest of these items out like that and put everything into place here for a minute. And I can go over there like that. And you go here like this. This is looking good. There we go. Um, just a couple more. A couple more. It takes a little while to do all the connections in here. And obviously, like, a lot of people who watch this series... Um, well, not, not all of you, but a lot of you who watch this series also watch my Factorio stuff. And I, the, the obvious bit is the... Um, parallels that are drawn between this game and Factorio. A lot of people have been asking me about the differences between this and Factorio, and we're highlighting one of those differences right now. Doing this, the fantastic thing with Factorio, right, that needs to go in that direction. The fantastic thing with Factorio is the construction 
robots. Construction robots make such a massive difference to everything you do in that game. They are invaluable. They really are. You make a blueprint. So we would just, like, make a blueprint of this. And then you send the robots to go and do it. And they run out and they do the whole lot. So you don't have to... You're not forced to go along and build every single aspect of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this game. I think this game is absolutely incredible. I really do. And no, I'm not just saying that in order to score points with developers or anything like that. Those of you who've watched this channel for long enough will know that if I don't like a game, I'm more than happy to say this game is trash and I will stop playing it. I'm, I'm quite happy to say when I think a game is rubbish and I, I don't like it. So it's, it's definitely not that. If I didn't like this game, I would have said this game is rubbish, I'm not playing it. I did it with Ark Survival Evolved. Um, and I, I got, like, I, I tried to get back into that when I really did. I said there was a lot in that game that's there to like, but I just couldn't do it. I just could not do it. I could not. Enjoy that game enough to actually keep playing it. Um, it was just too many bugs. It, it, it was rubbish. The game, essentially, for the amount of time it's been in development, is rubbish. And I didn't like it at all. So I, I packed that one up. I had enough of that one. So I do. I'm completely honest. This one, I love this game. Really, truly, truly love this game. I enjoy every part of it, every aspect of it. But this is like... And, uh, we start when we're looking towards bigger builds like this. This is where we start to pull out the differences between this game and Factorio. And there are always going to be comparisons drawn between the two. This game is 3D Factorio. This the, the first person Factorio. And that is, that's that been said right from the start. Uh, that there was never any sort of question as to whether it might or might not have such comparisons drawn. It's definitely Factorio. We know that this is Factorio, right? There's no question at all. You can't sort of... Ha you can't play one game and... Um, you can't play both the games and then not draw comparisons. It's just something that doesn't happen. Um, so we'll accept that. Uh, one, two, three. And so I'm going to drop this one here right in between these two. Right? I'm going to put that one there on that side. Now, why am I doing it like that, you may ask? It's so that I can put six... Of... No, I don't want to put six on there. I want to put five. Five is what I want to draw onto there, because I need to draw power into this area, don't I? So, if I'm pulling power in, I'm going like that. See? There's two, three, four, and... Five, like that. I can't go to six because I've got, if I look on here, there, i got five of seven. I need one power line to come out of there and run down to this end where it can connect up with another power line. I'll put that one there. And then that can connect up to any additional power line. It doesn't matter which. You're going to run down over that way. So that you've got power going down over there. And I also, I don't want to put those cables going in between everything. So, five is our limit on here. Now, I've got ten, so five being the limit is actually just fine. So, I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to drop that one uh, right there like that. And then I'm going to go with you. going to go onto there. You onto there. That one, that one up to there, and that one up to there as well. So again, we've got five. So then I go from that one, straight line down to there. That's joined all of them together. So that one over there, the seven of seven. And then these all the way up through here. There's nothing else for them to do. So I've, I've now connected everything. I bring the power line back, and you're connected up. The only reason it's not doing anything, the reason it's uh, flashing, is because I haven't selected what I want to do. So now I go iron ingot. And here's another crucial difference between Factorio and this one. Like, for Factorio, you've got an overview, haven't you? you, you you've got a, um, 
Like, you're looking at it top down. You're able to control things a lot easier. Right? The, the, the control, accessing things is a lot easier. If I want to do the same recipe in 25 different structures, or, you know, 10 different, 20 different structures that we're doing here, a control click, and it, it copies it out. And this one i got to manually go down through and select. Now, it is a bit rough comparing this to Factorio, because Factorio's been in production for a very, very long time. It's not quite finished production yet, but it will do soon. We're going to run down through and just finish putting all of these in. We'll, we'll go iron ingots all the way down through like this. There. So it's a little bit unfair comparing this to a game that is um, one of... It's, it's, the development team in that game are amazing. They really are. They, um, absolute, they work really, really hard to remove all bugs. And they are, uh, the, the, their work ethic is just phenomenal. They, they are not interested in bringing anything new whatsoever until every single bug has been smashed flat. Once they've smashed flat all of the bugs, then they start intro, you know, working on the next round of new features. And it's really cool seeing the way that they're doing it and sort of developing everything. It's so awesome. It really is. Uh, I want to put... Right, well, that one's going up to there. I, I need it to go over to that pole. Uh, I don't want to go onto there either. I want to go number two like that. And I want to run you over to there. Then you like that. Bring you in. And yeah, so the the work that they're doing in Factorio is just stunning, right? It is just amazing. Uh, so far, though, the people working on this game appear to have a similar approach to the good folks who work on Factorio. And this, to me, is only a positive. It can only be a positive thing. And yes, a lot of people were very upset that they decided to go with the Epic Games Store. Uh, myself included. I'm not happy about that decision. I think that is the single worst decision that they've made with the production of Satisfactory. And I can only hope that in the long run, the money that they got paid for it will come back into the development of the game and sort of show that it was worth that uh, little bit of sacrifice. Personally... I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold I'm gonna reserve my judgment on that one. Um, at the moment, I don't like it. I'm very very much against the whole thing. Um, I, I I really don't like that they took that decision, and I I really hate that. That is the the single worst aspect of this game. Completely 100% is the fact that they went and forced us to use Epic Games Store. Uh, in order to be able to use the game. I really, really don't like that, and I was bitterly disappointed. As I know, were legions of other people. Um, why, you might ask? Uh, go and Google Epic Game Security, and the hundreds of search results will answer your question for you. That's why I don't like it. I also don't like the interface on Epic Games. It's clunky, it's horrible, it doesn't work very well. In Epic Games' favour, I, I, I like to give reasoned arguments, so... Um, and I like to give a fair discussion, fair debate. In Epic Games' favour, their store at the moment does produce, uh, does sort of throw up quite a lot of free games. Uh, every week you get a different free game coming out of it. And this is, I think, to attract new customers. So, yeah, great. Free games are always good. So you can't complain about free games. Uh, personally, I'm choosing not to because I don't like the Epic Games interface. And I'm still serious questions over whether uh, my account is properly secure anyway. Um, I, I really have got serious questions over that. I've tried contacting them to no avail. It doesn't seem to... Nothing seems to have come of it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've got my own very serious concerns about Epic Games. Um, and that's why I was incredibly disappointed about their decision in here. We'll see. The game itself, the satisfactory game itself, I cannot fault it. Right? I've, I've been all over this game now, and there's so much more stuff to come. I cannot fault the game itself, and I only hope that when they move to Steam, 
I will be able to take the save game and I'll be able to move to Steam. Either that or we'll have to start like a brand new approach. Uh, but maybe the game will evolve so much by that point that we'll be ready to start a, a, a brand new playthrough. I'm, I'm not really sure. But uh, as soon as this game is available on Steam, I will be switching over to Steam. And I'll be ditching Epic Games once and for all. I've got no intention of staying with them. And I, 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 I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that in the slightest. I'm going to put... All three of them in there. I'm going to overclock that all the way up. Like that. So that one's ready to roll. Because everything else is ready to go in here. We are actually ready to go. I haven't connected up the power. I know I got slightly sidetracked talking about Epic Games. And... But I mean, the dev team on this one, at the moment, appear to have the same work ethic as um, the dev team with Factorio. They appear to. Although Factorio declined the uh, Epic Games offer for exclusivity because they felt that, that wasn't fair on their fans, whereas uh, despite the devs for Satisfactory promising on their Kickstarter that it would be available on Steam, they didn't. They went back on that. So that's points against them. That, that, that's, that's definitely, if you're running a tally chart, that is definitely points in favour of um, the uh, Factorio team as opposed to the Epic Games team. And I'm not going to suggest anything otherwise. That's definite points right there. But, I mean, maybe they needed that money. Maybe that money will make the difference in the long run, which is why I'm not condemning them for it. I'm simply saying that is points against them. I'm not outright condemning them for it. Um... There's, there's always reasons that people have for doing different things, and I'm sure they got their reasons for doing what they did. So maybe, just maybe, it is because of, um, you know, that they needed extra money. Maybe the Kickstarter didn't get them the funds they needed, and the funds that they get from doing it this way is going to be beneficial. It is going to benefit the making of the game, and at the same time, right, I want to get these lined up. These, these have got to be lined up. There's no question. There's no question whatsoever. you got to be like that. There. That should be lined up. I'm hoping that's lined up. Is that lined up? You, right through there. You are indeed lined up. Right. Take you. Now I'll drop you into there. And then this one over here. I'm going to put that one up. That one's going upstairs. That one's going up there. I'm going to drop that one in. So we're going to have two large containers full of iron bars. And then from those, we'll be taking them upstairs over into that section. And we'll be doing stuff with them up there. Uh, we'll also... There are other things that we're going to be doing as well. But right now, we need to fire these up. So I'm going to fire them up one at a time. Now, power will go from here. I'm going to need one power cable coming out from there. So, I don't actually want that one. I want this one here. That's going to go to there like that. And that is going to jump into that one. And you are going to go over here like that. And then you're going to jump into... Oh, that's the wrong way around. I don't want that. Get rid of you. All right, let's just watch this side fire up a second. Here comes the ore, and out it goes. It's going in between them all. They should all they should have everything that they need all the way down through. Racing in through like this. And if I run down over here and have a look at that, that's 300 a minute. The conveyor belt that we're putting out, that one right there, the Mark III, that does 270 per minute. So we can't quite take the amount that we're producing. Which I'm actually just fine with. Right, so I want the cable to come up that side. So in order for it to come up that side, I want to take that power line and go through. And I want to bring that power line over to there like that. There we go. And then that will run back onto here. Why aren't you running back onto here? Go there. Onto there. Right has run back on here now. You are 300 or per minute as well. And look, there goes the iron bars. Everything is out and running. Fan-schmastic. 
And we go up here and we have a look. And there we have our new lines of furnaces. And everything is firing up now. This, this is just awesome. And I can see iron bars going all the way down to the other end down there. This one's like that's already filled up. So like, it, it's amazing how quickly it does fill everything up. Running all the way down through there as well. That one's running in. This is running in. This is so cool. 20 furnaces all up and running. Tw 20 oh, furnaces, smelters. They're called smelters in this game, not furnaces. Uh, we've got 20 smelters all up and running. Slamming the stuff out through. Iron bars all going into there. Right, well, that's that's phase one complete. We've got all of the stuff being uh, thumped through down here. I'm just going to run through this way a second. Phase one complete over here. What it should do is run all the way down there. It does appear to be putting iron ore right the way down through. Why is... Oh, I see it's... it's Waiting until it's got a few of them in there before it sort of fires itself up. And then ones like this one here, that's slowly accumulating. And then once that one accumulates completely all the way up to 100, it's now like it's done. It then starts putting a few more of them up that way. It leaves the odd gap in there like that. And then it will leave another gap. And then you over this side, you're gathering a little bit more and, and so it runs on down through we probably don't need this many but i figure that later on we may end up needing um 10 in a line on a 10 in the line is actually a, a like something that is able to to work 100 percent or not i might i may have gone overkill on that but we got up we got um belt upgrades still to, to be brought in haven't we and there's those to work with uh next little project I'm going to get that one running again, and I'm going to put the, the builder down there, and then it will go straight out from that, and it's going to run across the roof over to the thing over there. I'm not... Actually, I will. I will put concrete storage on here as well. I will do a concrete storage on there. So let's bring a floor out over this way, here like this, and I'm only going to use the two meter foundations on this, because I don't think I need to actually put in anything else. Put the foundation there. And you can see here we're going right into the side of the cliff. We've, uh, well, it, it, into the grassy slope. Really a cliff. As much as it. Is, you can't really class that as a cliff. Um, but we've got the, the whole grassy slope right here. A bit more grassy slope. And then I've got a few stones over there. A few bits up there. That one in. We'll put one there. Despite the fact that we don't actually need one there at all. We don't really need any over there either. But why not? There. It's now got a grid all the way through. That's, that's all I really want. It's just a, a grid to go all the way through there. And logistics. Nope. Uh, production. Let's go with production, shall we? We want to go for constructor right there. That one. I want to turn around. And I'm going to put you right over there just like that a little bit over to the side that'll be just fine and then i'm going to go into here i've got a uh, organization industrial storage i've got enough to be able to make another one of them so i can have i can have loads of concrete here the reason i'm doing this with loads of concrete is because the sheer amount of flooring that we want to build, as well as roof as well, and walls and, and, and everything. So I figure in order to have everything in there, we'll make sure that we've got plenty of space for it. And we've got plenty of concrete for it all as well. So you can go straight down into there with that one. And you in here, I will select concrete. We don't have an alternative recipe for concrete at all. So we just go with plain concrete in there. Actually, that one. I wonder about overclocking that one. Let's not. Oh, let's not worry about overclocking anything for a second. Uh, you this way. I'll bring power over here. So I'll put a power line there, and then another power line over to this side. 
Where are you going to go? Yeah. Alan can go there. And then you can come down here and... No, actually, you know what? That one up there can uh, run that one. So you can go into there like that. Why aren't these connected up? Let's be this round the corner. Ah, that one goes to there. That one there is not connected to anything, but I can soon take care of that because I can drop it onto that one all the way over there. Right, that should have connected. Yes, that has now connected everything. Thus, Right, that's running. But where is my limestone? Oh, there it is. Right. This is not a pure limestone node. Right? We don't have any purity on this one. But I got a lot of these shards. So I'm going to drop these in. And I'm going to ramp production on this one way up to 250%. That's 150 a minute we're getting out of there. Again, it's, it's not a huge amount, really. 150 a minute. It's definitely not enough to even fill this belt. So I'm not getting a lot off of this one. This is quite a poor one. I'm getting 45 per minute coming in. I'm producing 150 a minute. I'm going to make more concrete than that. So I go there. It's using 67. And then I go there. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with three. Like, normally, I wouldn't say that this is a thing that I want to be doing. It's 112. I wouldn't normally want to be... Uh, overclocking one of those, I'd rather build a second one because those power shards are extremely valuable items and I don't want to be wasting them at all in any way, shape or form. But for once, I think they would actually be quite useful um, just where they are. Now, next thing I'm going to do, we're going to ignore that bit. This bit here is, is going to stay kind of au naturel as it is right now. And what I'm going to do is I've got that one over there. That is one, two, three. I've got four sections there. So I'm going to build nine sections up over here. And I'll make sure that, that is in exactly... Yeah, that is in the same spot. And I will go up four here. Two, three, and four like that. There. I don't know if that's high enough. It is four. Yep, yeah, yeah, well, that it's the same height. It just doesn't seem like it's quite high enough. I kind of wanted it to go up over, right up against the roof. We want to come out of there and then head over that way. I don't, obviously, I don't want to, like, cover over the top of that one. So I'm going to need to bring it across here. Going to go sort of about there. So I'm thinking, actually, we want to go up one more. Up there. If I go up another one. What's that like? Uh, I pressed the wrong button there. Let's try it. Let's see, I go from up there and I join that down onto there. That's already a Mark III belt by the look of it. That's not a Mark III belt. Well, it must be, because otherwise it would do the upgrade bit. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a Mark III belt. It's just, it just looks slow. That's all right. So then I come up to here and I get wedged when I stick. But that one is at least high enough. That's, that's way up out of distance. And that's, that's the bit that I wanted to do. I wanted to keep it right up there out of the way so it's not going to cause me any problems. So then I'm going to get the next one. I kind of going to go... Actually, we'll, we'll go down this way. I'm stuck. Why am I... Oh. I keep pressing the wrong button today. I, I don't quite know why. Uh, I'm going to... So, no, I don't... I can't put it over the top of there. So, actually... i tell you what... And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.